this is what it's all been for. It's all to get to the NBA and have a successful career. So that's what I'm going to try to do. Xavier Henry, born March 15, 1991. Back in 2009, you couldn't tell anyone that knew of Xavier Henry he wasn't a future NBA star in the making. Not only did he have all the physical ingredients you need to build one, but it translated to being one of the best high school prospects in the country with all the major accolades to prove it. The icing on top was his lefty stroke that solidified he had enough to be one of the more sought after recruits in the country and it shouldn't take long before we could see his talents on the biggest stage. His time in college as expected was brief and his potential couldn't be higher as he proved in one year he could stand out on a roster with seven other future NBA talent on his team. He also shot over 40% from the three-point line, leading his number one ranked Kansas Jayhawks in that area that left no question he could overcome his perceived weaknesses going into the NBA draft. For Xavier Henry, the board was set as at that point there weren't any major knocks on his game. All it would take is the right situation he could shine also develop on the fly. He left after one season in college, the first player ever in Kansas history to leave after just one year. Memphis took him 12th overall and added him to a roster that would be a playoff team after missing four straight postseasons throughout the 2000s in their rebuilding stages. With a rebuilt roster and key additions, Xavier Henry struggled out the gate getting his game going and with health issues, playing just 38 games starting 16 in a role he wasn't quite suited for as yet. The Grizzlies had their all-star performers and needed Henry to facilitate using his athleticism and ability to get in the lane, then knock down open opportunities at a high level from deep like he did in college. Didn't seem difficult enough seeing as he was used to playing with top players and physically he had what it took to succeed. But those would be the only 38 games he'd last with Memphis, traded in his second season to the New Orleans Pelicans. From there, his career stalled over the next two seasons under Monty Williams. He signed with the Lakers for the 2013-14 season and had his best year, although levels under expectations, as by that point he was typecasted as an energy guy off the bench they could use on the fast break and on the offensive boards. Gone was his potential to develop into the star many thought he could be. The Lakers were his last stop, never playing more than 50 games a season, dealing with career-altering injuries in the process, and out the league at just 23 years old. What happened? Let's talk about it. It's your boy JC Stunnick Growth. Let's get him. Take a minute to like, subscribe, and comment on who I should do next. Xavier Henry was a 6'6 small forward shooting guard from Oklahoma City born in Belgium where his father played professionally that starred immediately in high school. He and his dad worked tirelessly on his game, his father a former NBA draft pick by the Kansas City Kings back in 1984 after leading Kansas in scoring the past two seasons. His mother was also a former KU basketball player as well. With that pedigree, he quickly became one of the best players in his class and by senior year, led his team to a state championship and was named a McDonald's All-American as well as Jordan Brand participant. 247 ranked him the second best shooting guard of his class and sixth overall headed to Memphis and John Calipari before Calipari left and took the job at Kentucky. Henry chose his parents' alma mater and with his physical talents and 41% deep ball, he left after just one season, as mentioned, the first to do so for the Jayhawks. Stun number one, not ready for the NBA. One thing young players must realize before they decide to embark on their NBA journey is the business of the NBA waits for no one to become the player expected. Taken as early as Henry was in the draft, you'd think that would be the case, but as soon as you begin to show mentally you struggle with the concepts, confidence, and your role on the team, you're placed in a box it'll be difficult to get out of, as teams have lottery and first round picks every year over your shoulders that may be more ready for the job than you are. It doesn't matter how much physical ability you have, what you did in high school or college prior to, or who your parents are. 
Once that happens, your opportunity to show what you can do becomes less and less over time, and like today's feature, you could find yourself out the league just as fast as you got there. Henry's coach in New Orleans, Monty Williams, said about the former lottery pick that he felt Xavier Henry was not ready for the NBA. He was at Kansas for only a year before he left early for the draft, then he goes to Memphis and is hurt, so he doesn't get the same teaching. Then we have a lockout, that's two years when he hasn't played consistently, said Williams. Being from the Greg Popovich coaching tree, defensive concepts and strategic offensive schemes were some of the things Williams picked up and tried to have Xavier Henry pick up on with the Pelicans, but those didn't translate on time and it led to another short stint with his second team. He played 17 minutes per game his first year in New Orleans and 12 the next in his third year in the league. By then, he hadn't averaged at least 6 points a game and seemed like he needed those extra years in college to develop mentally and also to develop confidence in his ability. Another area he lacked and wasn't ready for in the NBA, as Lionel Williams, his first coach, explained of Henry in his time in Memphis, saying as time went on, he wasn't up to the speed of the NBA and he lost confidence. Unfortunately, Xavier wouldn't get that time he needed back, waived by the Lakers in 2014 after a little over 50 total games in two seasons. Stunt number two, injury prone. Arguably the biggest career killer for professional athletes, especially a sport like basketball, where your physical ability is one of your most important tools, along with mentally being able to understand concepts, defenses, and timing. Henry's rookie year, a chronic sore knee sidelined him for 44 games beginning in late December 2010. He attempted a return January 28, 2011, but from there, the knee didn't allow him the time he needed to develop going into a summer he wasn't afforded that development as well. In his second year, he'd deal with more of the same, having arthroscopic surgery for a lateral meniscus tear in his right knee. He began year two on the inactive list, missing his first 17 games of the season, then missing more time after a second ankle sprain in practice sidelined him once again. He was also traded in the process. Henry played the most games of his career, 45 and then 50, but they weren't productive years and the injuries racked up and left him questioning if he belonged in the NBA. After signing with the Lakers, he seemed rejuvenated, playing 21 minutes per game and averaging 10 points at least for the first time. But then, like clockwork, by Christmas, Henry was on the inactive list once again, missing the next two months with an injured right knee and also surgery to repair a torn ligament in his wrist. In his final NBA season, he played just nine games before tearing his Achilles tendon November 24, 2014, an injury he suffered during practice. He was waived by the Lakers, ending his NBA career in the process. It was a sad outing for Henry, who dealt with injuries from day one of his career, all the way until it ended abruptly in a familiar place, on the inactive list. Stun number three, lack of development. In the end, it all came down to Xavier Henry not being developed enough for the NBA. First off, him leaving Kansas after only a season was a mistake, even though it allowed him the chance to pursue his dream early. But the price of that left Henry paying for the next five years because mentally the level proved to be too high for him after both his coaches on his first two teams concluded just as much. Physically, his body wasn't ready either as one injury led to another and took away those important development opportunities like summers and practices. During summers is where basketball players get a chance to fine-tune some things they were missing the season before and maybe add a few others that had potential. But when you spend those summers pretty much rehabbing physically and reassuring yourself mentally, it leads to a lack of confidence in both those areas and your coaches along with opponents figure that out almost instantly and opportunity goes away. A race against time begins where depending on your team situation, they may not have room to wait for the player to develop and move on from them before they can show promise. This was the case for Henry. 
His teams all concluded that because of his prone to injury body and limited experience, he wasn't in the race for the opportunities available. After all, he was on three teams where there was opportunity for a big guard who could also defend, it's just Xavier Henry unfortunately never got to develop into that. All in all, Xavier Henry's story is an unfortunate one that began with such promise. You never know how things can play out in your career, so it's important you take mental and physical development seriously and not lose confidence when things start to go wrong. Maybe he would have became the great player many expected, maybe not, but for these reasons, we never got to find out. Salute, much respect, it's your boy JC Stunnick Growth, and I'm out.